So Madam Web hasn't exactly gotten very good reviews out of the gate. But I figure with such an incredible cast, Dakota Johnson, Sidney Sweeney, Emma Roberts, Adam Scott, it can't be that bad, can it? Can it? So I checked it out and unfortunately, it really is that bad. I'm gonna have to say probably the worst superhero movie I've seen yet. And that's saying something. And again, with a cast like this, it's hard to say. Dakota Johnson is an incredible actress. She did a really good job portraying this character. She put a lot of emotion into it, a lot of intensity. There's a lot of things I liked about her character. Well, I shouldn't say character, I should say acting, not so much the character because I didn't like the character in this. I mean, it's supposed to be a Madam Web movie. I don't want to spoil a lot, but we don't really see a lot of quote Madam Web in this movie. I see a lot of Dakota Johnson who gets some weird premonitions and some weird powers coming on here and there, but I just don't get Madam Web from her. And I'm not saying that's a, a Dakota Johnson problem, that is a writing problem. And this movie suffered from a lot of horrible writing. I'm very curious of what the original script was because I know in interviews Dakota Johnson said that the original script when she signed on was largely different than what they ended up with. The original one she really liked and whatever they ended up doing to it, she wasn't a fan of and it shows. I mean, it really did have some of the worst dialogue and writing I have seen in movies in a long time. Definitely not something I expected from Sony Studios. I really thought they could have done better. I expected better. But I will give the actors and actresses in this movie credit. They tried their hardest. They did a great job portraying the emotion, the suspense, the intensity in their characters. But unfortunately, even they could not save this movie. Now, as far as the marketing for this movie, I feel like it was marketed completely wrong. The trailer and everything makes you feel like it's a superhero movie and there's going to be superheroes like in costumes and doing these cool things and we got these three spider women developing and all this stuff going on. It's not at all what you get. The trailer is so misleading. It's more of a thriller with some suspense thrown in a little bit of superhero action but not what I thought there was more super villain than superheroes which is kind of weird but speaking of super villains this was definitely the worst one of any superhero universe out there I mean this guy's background was kind of generic and it just I didn't feel any intensity from him. I didn't feel super villain. I didn't, I wasn't scared by this guy. He didn't present a presence of someone who's trying to take over the world or do whatever he's trying to do. And there definitely wasn't anything unique about this guy. I mean, he's an evil Spider Man or a bad guy Spider Man that has a generic outfit that climbs walls I mean he doesn't even shoot webs I mean he's a generic spider-man in that way he doesn't even have web shooters he just jumps around and has extra strength and he's a jerk I don't know this movie was two hours long felt like it was three there was a lot of fluff filled in there a lot of just drug out storyline that could have been chopped down a lot shorter to make this movie even maybe a little better but overall, this movie was an epic fail. I don't think you should even waste your time. I mean, it's two hours. Two hours of your time you're going to lose watching this movie. But I did it for you, so you don't have to. But if you did suffer through it, let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments. Please do me a favor, hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out. And hopefully the next movie is better.